We're going. We're live. All right. So it sounds like uh, a couple of you. Is it just uh, Deficer and Terrell are having breakfast right now? Yep. Okay. Cool. Um. So after your long mission the other day, Madam Frey uh, allowed you guys to book ro rooms upstairs for the night. Um. And it sounds like you are all starting to come down and have your morning meal and discuss your earnings with one another. Terrell, I very, very much appreciate the breakfast. Uh, so what did you end up getting from, uh, from our mission? More importantly, why was you staring at the wall hey. outside the tavern? <clears throat> Let's just say uh, I have other things on my mind. But more importantly, let's talk about this, this sweet loot that we got. I got a smoldering armor, and I sold it for 105 gold because it didn't seem to benefit me in the least. 105 gold for smoldering armor? Man, kind of wish I would have got that. But it went really nice with this uh, trench coat. I got this uh this sword. It, it's kind of cool. Um, you know, in a sense, it's it's kind of stuck with me. Uh, kind of stuck with it as well, but it's pretty cool. Um, I'm gonna hang up the bow for a little while, and I think I'm gonna start uh, taking down some some enemies with it. I feel uh feel like I can't compete with uh with your your bow, so I'm uh I'm gonna see if I can show uh Belioth what's up. What do you think about that? I'm not All sure. Right. I was trained from a young age to use the bow. I'm mostly stuck with a dagger. <clears throat> Hung out in the shadows. But I recently took up the bow, and I think I'm going to hang it up for a little while and give this uh, this, this new weapon I got a, a shot. Man, I, w I wish I would have known about your breastplate. I might have been able to use it. I've been... Pretty cool. Might have to see if she still has it at her shop. Purchase it from her. While you guys are discussing your loot there, Belioth uh, stumbles down from from upstairs as he's just awoken. Hey, Belioth! We're eating breakfast. Would you like to join us? <clears throat> no, I'll get my own. I'll sit at a separate uh, table. Come on. My back to the wall by myself. And order some meat. Pfizer gets up and walks over and sits next to Belioth. Once again, Belioth attempts to kick his chair. And <laughs> strength check. I know. I had to find my character sheet. Check it out. Oh, chat. Strength check. Uh, Ooh. Oh wait, no, that's triple advantage. Hang on. What was my first one? Oh, my first one was a twenty. Are you rolling to self? Oh, I did roll to self. Damn. I had it rolled in that 20. All right. Uh, do all. So. <laughs> <laughs> you've got a record so far. Belioth has kicked over your chair with you in it. You tr A nice flip <clears throat> to get yourself on your feet, but kind of stumble there. Weiser sits on the table and just stares at him. What was that for? Belioth will stand up, grab the halfling man, and throw him on the floor. Strange I said this check. yesterday. We had a uh, we did one mission together that does not make us friends. We. Uh, can work together, but uh, I keep to myself. Oh, I did strength save and throw. I did, not that it would matter. All right, strength check. <laughs> <laughs> not you, Decisor. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh. oh. Belioth for picking oh. up your character. Yeah, you can try and do a, a dex saving throw if you want, Deficer. Dex save and throw. There you go. Oh, shit. So he tries to pick you up, and Deficer's like, nah, uh and does like a little cartwheel to the side, like, nope, not happening. 
Listen, man, I just wanted to come in and tell you good morning, but this is how it's going to be. No problem. We, we can chat later. And Vizor walks back over and sits next to Terrell. All right. And then we'll, we'll, uh, we'll have Mervin come down since he's just awoken. Might be still sleeping. <laughs> Marvin, you there? Is he there? Yeah, I had to find a mute. Oh, I, had, I was on the wrong computer. <laughs> I couldn't find my mouse key. Or why am I still on the wrong computer? Anyways, yes, I'm here. I, I come down and sit down with the other halfling because he's my friend. Halflings for life. Five, sir. You guys hear me? Deficer reaches a fist and reaches it and pushes it towards Mervin. That's right. Fist bump. That's right. I eat faster because I'm uncomfortable because I'm surrounded by people that I do not know. Deficer takes a big swig of his, his Arabellan wine, puts his arm around Terrell. It's okay. I know you're a loner, but you'll come to like us. Us halflings. We're, we're great company. They're usually pretty lucky, old. too. Uh, last to come down is Lilac. Okay, well, Lilac's running down the stairs, and uh, she's screaming, Madam! Madam Frey! Madam Frey! I need to talk to you immediately! Pfizer looks up puzzled, looks over at Terrell. What's up with her? I like go over to the bar where Madame Frey is and put my like <clears throat> hands on the bar and lean over and get real close to her and whisper something in her ear like, listen lady, I got this brilliant idea. I need to rent your cellar for a little bit. It's for my studies. Can I hear what she's saying? Know. Can you hear what I'm saying? You're trying to be discreet about this? Very. Or... I'm whispering in her ear. Okay. Uh, go ahead and roll perception. Nice. I'd say you are catching most of the conversation that she wants to rent out the cellar. Uh, let's see. Good heavens, child. It is too early for this Russian business. Goodness gracious, but you are in luck. I had a tenant that was renting out the cellar, and he uh, he left, actually, and hasn't paid in over two months. Excellent. How much was he paying for this cellar of yours? She says when she does the Mr. Burns finger thing. You want to talk about Excellent. Excellent. This is all whispers, correct? Yes. Okay. You could try to overhear if you want. Nah, that's okay. Me and Terrell's eating breakfast. And and Mervin. Well, he was renting it out for ten gold a month. I know it's it's kind of uh not that tidy down there, but that's okay. I'll take it. I don't care. I need it. And then I'll sit down at the bar, pleased with myself. Pfizer leans over. Morning, Lilac. Oh, it's you again. How was that Beholder beer last night? How was the skeletons? And she laughs to herself. <laughs> the Pfizer's eyes get big and begins eating his breakfast again. Not responding to that. As you guys are having your discussion, um, one of Madame Frey's daughters is refreshing the drinks and decides to spread some gossip with you. Uh, I may have said the. Give me a sec. 
So this is Breas. Um, uh, she just starts talking about herself, so not necessarily gossip, but she says, my sisters and I picked the berries ourselves for this here, these here biscuits today. Some say the wild berries in this area are, and then before she can finish her thought, you hear some shrieking erupt from the streets outside of the tea kettle. While the words are mostly, uh, you can't quite make them out, you do make out help and family. My sister immediately stands up and sprints to the door. <clears throat> Lilac Blythe. follows. Blyth will walk to the door and look outside. I'll look out a window. But does not exit. Oh yeah, hold on. We have music this time, I think. Oh yeah, we do. Ooh, fancy. Sorry. Mom, my character does like music. Exactly. We should make him play in real life. <laughs> are we are we at the upper left hand corner of this map? That little house kind of by the, by the road and river? Is that is that where we're at and, or is it no, we're technically in the plaza. Oh, that's loud. You have to turn it down. Yeah. Ooh. Is this music that we hear outside? No, inside. Oh, this is just ambient music. Something to fill the silence when I'm not talking. Or, or you guys aren't repeating. Okay. <laughs> So does everyone have it turned down? Yep. Yeah, I'm good. I got yeah, turned up to where you can actually can hear it. Down. I can hardly hear anyone else. Okay. So if you right click on Groovy and just well, uh, I'm sorry, what's that? Right click on on Groovy in the in the voice chat and just turn the user volume down. I got it at 10% for me. Groovy. What? Yeah, Groovy's a bot. Plays music. It's in the in the voice channel. I'm seeing chat. Oh, there's Groovy. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, much more better. Yeah, you can turn individuals up or down depending on how hard they are to hear. <laughs> oh, okay. oh, that's nice. All right, cool. Now I can turn you guys back up. Yep. Okay, perfect. Okay, so you guys are all looking outside, right? And can I be like outside the door? I want to be. I want to be a part of the drama. Of course, you are part of the drama. Fuck yeah. Don't remind me so, of my sister. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys, you notice a woman holding a child, um, and she is talking with the guards right now. Well, you know, the, uh, the city watch. There's the city watch for you. The city watch around these parts aren't, um, they're, they're not usually going to get into too much business if it's outside of town, because this is kind of a lawless area, so they, they pretty much just try to keep wildlife out of the city. That's the, uh, it's as far as they go. Um, so she's talking with them, um, and you guys can overhear her. Would you like to try and hear what she's saying? Yes. yes. Yeah, I would. Perception. You want to do perception? I want. So I've got a plus four perception. I can help somebody else if they have a higher. I have a plus eight perception. Okay, I'm gonna help Terrell. A roll with advantage. Yeah. I, have, I have to roll with advantage? Oh, okay. Because I'm helping you. Alright, buddy. Thank you. Nice. Nice. How many people do we want to try to let listen? Well, if you want to know without having to ask, you should roll. Oh, I 
You can always ask me, though. I'm pretty open. That's true. I'm just quiet. All right, so... Belioth, you can tell from kind of the body language this woman is in distress and she's trying to get help, but you can't really make out what she's saying. You're still a bit hungry and irritated that your meat hasn't been delivered to you yet, so you're more focused on that, I'd say. Um, the rest of you can kind of make out that she's trying to say that she, uh, her family, her family farm has just been attacked and all of her family's been dragged away and she needs assistance. She needs someone to help go get them. And you can hear the guards doing what they do. That, that's outside of uh, city limits. We can't really help. And they hand her a piece of paper. Darrell, can, can, you, can you hear what they're saying? What's going on? I've informed them about what I know. I wonder what that piece of paper is. Does anybody want to get a closer look? And we can go I talk can. to her? I'd say we go up and talk to her. Yeah, let's go see if we can we help. Send, so we send Lilac, you know, that girl talking to another girl? Oh, you, sure, I'll go talk you, to her. You want to so scare her away? <laughs> oh, well, yeah. I, I put my hand on her shoulder. <laughs> and now she's frightened. <laughs> <laughs> I know I was going to. She's gonna drop her baby and run. Just kidding. I go. I go over to this lady, and I say, "Excuse me, miss." Oh yes, hello. Uh, I saw you talking to the guard over here. Or watch and um, well uh, we heard you from inside so you were quite a loud I don't know if you were you're in you know a little bit of distress or something but you're really loud so can you keep it down and then I turn and walk back inside the tavern oh yeah yes I'm, I'm, I'm sorry it's just been a really bad day okay I stop walking and I turn I, back I around Hey guys, this lady's having a really bad day, okay? That's what I say to my party. Alright, Pfizer starts walking to meet up with Lilac. Dan Mervin, are you gonna? I was gonna go up and talk to her if y'all want me to, because. Uh, yes. I, I, don't, I don't know about the, <laughs> the Lilac thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I think we, we should you, send the you uh, bard. Us if you want to if you want to do something, man, you just say you're doing it, and if it needs a roll, you roll. Can I push the bard? I'm a part of a team, and I'm all about that. The group to see. All right, I will walk up to her and say, "Sorry about my friend. If you need some help, you want to share what's going on?" Oh yes. Um, and I I was just attacked by a whole bunch of goblins at my my family farm. And me and my little kid here, Bo, were the only ones that got away. I'm trying to get help to go save my family. Can we all hear this conversation? You guys can be within yeah. range if you want. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm suspicious of this lady. I'm whispering this to decipher. This lady seems real this... suspicious, don't you think? Uh, I'm gonna ask her if she has any details that she wants to provide. Yeah. I'd like to walk up next to Mervyn um, to try and comfort this lady. I'm gonna ask her if there's anything we can do to help. But, y yes, you could come with me. I'll take you back there, and you can track them down and, and try and save my family. I point at her. How did you escape the goblins? Well, I, we were uh, just running away, and I was able to get into this cart and, and drive off. What will you give us if we help you get your family back? Well, the, the guards just gave me this uh, piece of paper here, this this note. If, if anyone can fix the problem, the, the city will pay. What a mooch. I'm, I'm willing to help out. I'll, I'll walk with you. I'll come with. 
Black hears the word pay and walks up curiously. If oh, I help, you, I want you to give me the cart. Uh, that, that shouldn't be a problem. Alright, then I'll help. I just want my family returned safely. Are you ready to go now? Or some of us still need to eat breakfast, I suppose. Well, before we go, we should probably <clears throat> make sure we have all the things we need. Mm-hmm. The Pfizer looks around here. nervously. Oops. And says, uh, I, I need to go to the Thieves Guild real quick. Um, shouldn't be, but just a Okay. The Pfizer scurries off, heading towards the merchant shop. I wait with my new cart. I can just sit in it and wait. Actually, somebody's at the door, so somebody else do something. Be right back. <laughs> <laughs> Do, 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 do. That's so, so, so immersion breaking. <laughs> okay, so our, our group is kind of splitting up right now to go make sure they have all of their things in order before leaving. Is that kind of what's going on? Sure. Alright. Do you need to do anything, <clears throat> Mervin? I, not that I would be knowledgeable about. Good. Yes, uh, if we're waiting for him, Blythe will go back into the, uh, the inn and wait for his breakfast. See if your meat was delivered? <laughs> See if I got my meat. Guess I'll follow Blythe. I'm gonna stay with the lady, because I'm not leaving her with Lilac. Probably I, I... a good decision. Can I inspect the cart for any, like, oh, for goblin goop? Okay, thank you. Right. Yeah, that's fine. Sorry, I'm back. I got a tin. Was there, is there any goop and shit on my there, wagon? There's no goop and shit on your future wagon. Excellent. I'm making sure it's in good condition. Inspecting it, like, looking all but, around it and shit. There's, like, a couple <laughs> arrows and spears sticking out of it. But that's all. I attempt to pull one of the arrows out. Give me that strength check. <laughs> Please don't roll one. Oh okay. You got the arrow. With, like, you use your pointer finger and your thumb. Like, you just, like, you plucked that thing out. No problem. Excellent. This aesthetic of this wagon seems a little strange with the spares and these things sticking out of it. Decorate this yourself, lady. Is is that a joke? I don't joke. No. She's a little uneasy at the question. I toss the arrow at, like, like not throw it at her, but like I kind of like toss it to her, like take your trash, you whore, take it. She and the baby in her arms dodge the arrow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about the baby. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Such a bad evil, person. Evil lady. If if anyone to if ever give a mean and scared look at somebody at the same time, it would be her at you. Oh, I... She's intimidated and frightened. I sit patiently in the wagon now, waiting for everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I informed the group that I was going to the Thieves Guild. I had something I need to take care of and I'm gonna quickly run over to Ginger's shop. Oh, hey, dearie. She sees you. Hey, Ginger. Good to see you. How's business? Oh, it's been pretty, pretty good the past couple of days. No. What? No. I don't think so. Hang on one second. If they're asking what Ginger's wearing, it's khakis. <laughs> I wonder if she works at State Farm too. Alright, sorry. Uh, so, I, I didn't hear the 
answer. So, how, how's business, uh, Ginger? Oh, it's been picking up the last couple of days. Good. I, ho- I hope my uh, friends didn't give you too much trouble. Listen, um, we're getting ready to go and fight some goblins and, well, fight our ships around nervously. Uh, well, look, I, I just I just wanted to say that I, I appreciate what, everything you've been doing for us and and uh, I got you a little something. I, it's, it's nothing big. I just, just wanted a, just a token of appreciation for you. And uh, I'll pull out my flask of uh, winter wine and my creeper roses that I have no idea what they do. And maybe uh, the DM can fill me in on what these roses do. But I attempt to pull them out of my bag. <coughs> okay. Um, you said they were creeper roses? Yeah. And I think they're already wilted and dying, right? They are. <laughs> Oh, wow. <laughs> so, okay, so I'll pull out these wilted roses and uh, the flask of wine, and I look at her and like, oh, I'm, t- I'm so sorry. I, I tried to pick you some flowers, and now uh, well, I don't, I don't know anything about flowers. I was just, just thinking of a thoughtful gift for you. Oh, you handsome devil! Don't you worry about that. Look, that- uh, if, if I don't see you again, I. I wanted, I wanted your face to be the last thing I saw in town. And Defisa runs out nervously. <laughs> All right, well, she I, waves I, at you I as had, you're running I, away. I enter the wine and the wilted flowers, and I run. <clears throat> and I'll meet back the group. All right, got my business taken care of at the Thieves Guild, and uh, that they're aware of uh, this next mission we're going on. So I'm, I'm good to go, guys. Have I got my food yet? <laughs> so roll for deception. <laughs> Let's see how I this goes. I want to insight check this character, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. oh, wow, you both sucked. But... <laughs> but mine was better. Beta Goose from Anicante. So, Lilac knows something's up, but she can't quite place it something about that comment either you didn't go to the thieves guild or maybe you you didn't tell them you're going on a mission she doesn't know okay well i'm just gonna stand there with a giant smile on my face ah you're looking real funny there decipher i can't trust you at all can i oh you can completely trust me i'm i'm just excited to uh maybe go take out some goblins that's all Lilac looks really upset by that comment. I pull out my flask of Arabella and dry wine. Here, will this, will this help ease the tension between us? Absolutely not. <laughs> Pfizer takes a, a small swig and uh, suit yourself. I don't drink. Liar! <laughs> Prove it. You want to roll it in? Yeah. <laughs> Inside check. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> well, uh, more for me. Assuming I have my meat by now, and I see them gathering yes. outside, I will uh, grab whatever's left on my plate and eat and walk. All right. So, Goliath, what, what's your deal? Why are you, why are you so grumpy all the time? Life's too short. I've been alone most of my life, and uh, that's the way I like it. Uh, are uh, coming along with us. Yeah, if there's money involved. I'll uh, I'll see what it's about. But you're not my friends. We're not a party. I'm here for the money. Oh no, we're a party. We're friends. And Pfizer gives him a little elbow shove. Is uh, everyone back at the 
cart? Oh. Yep, the cart. I think Terrell and Mervin are still inside. No. It's, yeah, I'm still Mervin inside. I'm waiting Please. for food. I've been with the lady the whole time. Remember, I didn't leave yeah. her side. Yeah, Mervin's been with me and this creepy lady, but Terrell's inside the tavern still, waiting on his food. All right, a big plate of uh, ribs is delivered to Terrell. And like eight biscuits. It's breakfast. Some people are having wine, and some people are having a stick of meat for breakfast. It's biscuits and jam. Biscuits and meat with a side of ribs. (laughs) (laughs) I eat my ribs as fast as possible, and clean my face off, and put the biscuits in my pocket to eat them on the road. Faisal runs back before Terrell leaves. And... Constitution check to see if you throw up. Yeah, I'm, I'm game. Wow. For eating so much? So, so quick. yeah, exactly. Alright, give me a second. I'm out of the computer. I was doing laundry. Alright, Constitution? Yep. Yeah. I think it's like a check. Oh, uh, wh- where's that at then? <clears throat> that, that's good. Oh, okay. He's not proficient, so it's the same role. Oh, gotcha. Yep. You do that excellently, and don't choke on a bone. Good job. So, Yay. The Pfizer, before Terrell leaves the bar, the Pfizer runs back over, runs inside, and, and says, Terrell, did they, did they bring our food? I, I, I know you bought me some. Did they bring it? Yeah, you're sitting right there. Sweet. So I wasn't going to eat all that. Over. Pfizer runs over. Grabs the, uh, grabs the whole plate and just carries it outside, all of it, and <coughs> starts walking to the cart with the ribs and biscuits on a plate. Anybody hungry? You see, <laughs> as you're walking out, you see one of uh, Madame Frey's daughters, Brea's, lift a finger like as if to stop you, but then kind of, eh, eh, whatever. I'll bring it back, I promise. <laughs> Kind of a plate in his inventory. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be fun, dude. That plate's gonna get us busted. It's gonna like rattle or something in your bag. I'm putting it in the. Uh... No, I'm gonna carry it. <laughs> it's gonna bounce off my thieves. So there's gonna be a sheen of light coming from it or something. <laughs> but walk up with this plate of biscuits and ribs. And... Is anyone hungry? Yeah. There's no way a little guy might, like myself, I might eat maybe one biscuit, maybe two. Oh, well, I want a biscuit for, for later. Pfizer hands, Merp and a biscuit. Anybody else? We got, got ribs, lilac, you hungry? Lilac pulls out a wand and points it at you and casts scowl. <laughs> Was that a, a wisdom saving throw? Yes, I think so. <laughs> no. <laughs> Oh, wait, wait, wait. Is that a no, you don't want the biscuits? <laughs> wait, 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 I think I have lucky. So on the same you throw, do have lucky. when I roll a one, so I can re-roll. Yes, you can. Is that... Yep, still didn't pass it. <laughs> now you just have a scowl on your face for the next minute. Why is there sitting there, just scowling, holding this giant plate of ribs and biscuits, and I'm a little upset. I just keep holding them. Well, the light um, might, defri- might befriend you now if you look as angry as he does. Exactly. I offered, <laughs> and offered, offered food, and maybe, maybe he's just has nothing against little people. I've got my own. Let's get moving. You've got your own little people. <laughs> Pfizer's still scowling. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so she'll start taking you guys to the family's farm. It's about an hour away. Um, So it's about at this time. If you had anything studying-wise, you could could do that now. All right, uh, so along the way, we'll ask, I'm going to, Blythe will ask the layout of the farm, how many buildings uh, there are, and if she knows how many goblins there were, how many people were taken, just trying to get as much information on the uh, the area as he can. Okay. 
All right. Let's see. While Elias is doing that, can Lilac pull out the fake dragon egg and study it? Sure. Can so Lilac is gonna turn to Terrell and be like, y "You know anything about dragons?" I'll just say I've heard stories. What do you think you can make out of this egg? And I hand you the egg. Look at it. I rolled bad. <laughs> <laughs> I look at it again. You think it is a... Uh, you looked at it last time and you thought it was yeah, fake, right? Yeah, you can't really tell any more information about it other than it looks fake, but that that's about it. That's all you know. Lilac well, like, snatches the egg back from him, very upset by that. I, I look depressed. To, uh, I need to uh, ask Lilac like, a question. Okay. Didn't you have a chicken yesterday? Somebody stole my beloved. Oh, really? Yes, I'm on the search for them. I'm making wanted posters and everything. I'll even offer a reward. For said chicken? Well, no one had chicken laugh. for breakfast. Pfizer laughs. Can you believe she thought I stole the chicken? <laughs> also, uh, what was the uh, proposed reward on the piece of paper from the town guard? Uh, it was gold. I'll have to figure that out later. That'll be at the right. end. Okay, um, so she will answer your question about, you asked about how many goblins were there. Um, yep. Uh, she can't can't recall. There were too many to count. Um, and as for the farm, it's kind of like a medium to large size house, and then there's going to be a barn. Uh, there are about 12 or 14 people living there so there'd be like her immediate family which is about six people she's got her husband uh her daughters she has two daughters two sons and then six hired hands hmm told you this lady was suspicious as you guys roll up to the farm, you can see that there's a lot of damage to it. Um, any animal life has escaped or has been taken. Uh, crops aren't really touched. And you don't see any people there. Can, can Deficer sneak ahead and, uh, and scout? Yeah, roll uh, a perception. Can I follow him and do it too? Perception. I might be able to give you uh, plus eight. Yeah, I'm gonna help um, Terrell in his perception. Well, we gotta. Well, we're not doing stealth check yet. But I'm gonna help him with his perception. Okay. So I try to do stealth check too. If I try to be healthy about it. I've got plus ten stealth. So if we're stealth checking, I wanna. I'll, I'll I'm plus that. seven. Go ahead and roll perception, so you guys can. See if there's any more information. <laughs> you didn't even need the advantage. Holy crap! Wanna help, wanna Twenty-six. Want to help you put advantage on? Oh. But you didn't need it. Um. So f more information that he sees is you see some tracks going out to the east, and you see some drag marks along with those tracks. Roger looks at Terrell. Can you tell anything? Can you see what's going on? Can I look at the drag marks and try to get more information about them? Yep. It looks like there are about a dozen or so drag marks 
Looks like it's from humanoids. Fletcher looks at Terrell. I wonder if these are loop tracks from people being dragged or footprints or something. I wonder, I wonder if they're... There's no one around here, so I wonder if, if people are being held captive. What do you think? I'll just nod at him. Okay. Well, we, we need to be on, <clears throat> on the lookout because I don't see anyone around here. And if you're seeing tracks and, and drag drag marks uh, we don't we don't need to be the next two that are being dragged out are we ahead of the group at this at this point uh are we still yeah ahead? it's just you two kind of searching the farm a little bit there yeah I'd say okay. so yeah we, we don't want to be the the next unlucky two that, that get dragged off so uh, keep your eyes peeled and let's uh let's be careful So the others are at the cart with her, kind of off in the distance. All right, so um, we head back to the cart and we inform the group of uh, what, we, what we saw. Okay. Why didn't you guys follow the tracks? It sounds like that's what we should do. Maybe all of us should go, though. Yeah, we should send the... We should send the, the lady and her child back into town so they were protected, too. That way no, they taking... can't go anywhere with my cart. That bitch is walking. <laughs> <laughs> it's not your cart yet. Until... Yeah, we have to finish the mission before it's yours. Fine. Take my cart into town, little <clears throat> weird wench. Make sure it's safe. Otherwise, if I do this job and I come back and there's no cart, I'm going to kill you. You should make... You should oh, make, make... oh, my... Fair Make her pull all the stuff out of it too. Oh yeah, make sure you clean this thing up. I don't like all these pointy things sticking out of my cart. There you go. Sh sure, if you bring back my family. There you go. She'll right off into the sunset. Right. Let's follow tracks. Okay. Um. We will need a survival check to try and track these guys down. We all have to do it. Uh, I mean, I'd I'm not, take I'm not proficient. two people, I guess. I've only got plus two. I have a plus zero. I had a plus three, but I rolled bad, so. Well, it looks like Lilac and Goliath are going for it. Lilac's got a 17. So you guys are going to follow the tracks. Um, and you, you follow, follow them. them. Yep. Wait, can we follow them following the tracks? Yes. Okay. So you follow these tracks for about an hour and a half. And you make it to a cave opening. And you see a goblin. Chilling out front. He's got herpes. Does anyone speak Goblin? I do. So do I. You also see he's talking with a hooded figure. Give me just a sec to set you guys up. A hooded figure? Until they are talking to one another. Can I use perception? Do you speak goblin? Or what language are they speaking in? I just like to see what's going on and what, what's around us. Go ahead and I'm roll kind perception. of startled. See what information you can get from listening. is going to help Terrell. 
Okay. You want to roll again? With advantage. Say, well, uh, you you two speak uh, Goblin. Did you want to go try and talk to them first? Nice. Or I mean, this. Okay. Uh, so Terrell, you cannot. You know that they are speaking common, and you can hear the conversation that they're having. The Goblin uh, kind of has like broken common, right? He's not used to it. He's usually speaking in, in Goblin, but since he's talking to a human, he's switching it up for that guy. And you hear the Goblin say, On the one writing group return. They bring prisoners. Other writing groups return soon. No more snake calling people found. And the human nods. And he'll start saying, Excellent. Tell Gorunk that my friend and I will pay lots of coin and give lots of gifts for all of the dragon artifacts that you find and kill any other humans that you find near your home. And with that, the cloaked figure will walk off. Did you say Gorunk? Gorunk, yep. I wonder if I made a note for that. I didn't. Um, so are we just we're just like off the path a little bit ways in front of the cave yeah I think of it like you are kind of hiding in some brush and you see these guys talking okay uh, uh, as soon as I see the, the human turning around I'll whisper to the others should we stop this man before he leaves I could use some well, snaring Snare we didn't hear that. Oh, okay. Well, I I, f I assume that Terrell was. Can I tell them like what, what I he heard? heard to us? Yeah, I, I told. I, I basically yeah. informed them about what I heard and seen. You said we should stop him. Stop. Yeah, as, that's because the human's leaving. As you guys decide that, he kind of whoosh, and just kind of teleports out of there. <laughs> well, that was a good idea of a life, but a little too late. All right. Now he said uh, the second raiding party will be returning shortly. It doesn't make it's not wise to uh, to rush in and then get flanked by the second raiding party. I think we should wait in ambush for the second for the the second returning party and fight them first. He didn't say just a second raiding party. There's groups of raiding parties out. Oh. I think that Mervin should go talk to that goblin by himself and then, you know, tell us what he discovers and we stay in this bushes. And I Mervin. give the advice of taking the uh, patch off of his armor. I'm taking mine off. Pfizer hides in the bushes. Oh yeah, I ripped a patch off my armor too. Yeah, same. <laughs> I already planted. You want me to go talk to the little gobby guy? Yeah, talk to the goblin. Ask him who that man was, and I'm gonna hide uh, offer him a better deal. Wink, wink. Yeah, because you know we do have a dragon egg. Yeah, what, what? We have a whole bag of diamonds. All right, I'll, I'll walk up to the goblin dude and say, how's it going, fellow? Well, he's not a fellow goblin. How's it going, goblin guy? What brings you to this area? Goblin? He's processing. You do speak goblin, you do speak goblin right? <laughs> He's surprised the, it happened. The goblin is a bit startled. What? Where did you come from? came from... Wait, where did we come from? What city? Fallon. Fallon? Flan. Flan? Flan. I just came from the city of Flan on an adventure. What? Oh, you... I, why? You, you're not supposed to be here. I, 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 I should go tell everybody else you're here. He, he kind of turns. Can I use my ensnaring strike on him? So he doesn't run? Off his short bow. Wow. 
Ribbon. Silence him. You can do it. Silence him? How the heck do you want me to silence him? Don't you have silence? Silence oh. him. Persuade yeah, him we'll... not to go. Shoot him in the oh. face. Uh, These are all we're, options that you guys we're, can we're do. We're attacking. We're attacking. I, th we'll I, just, think, I think we should ensnare him and then question him. Oh, oh. I like that idea. I like Mervin, my... If Mervin has Don't... sleep or... Uh, any spell that can subdue an enemy, though, he should use that. He's I, I, we I, don't want to give have... away our location right away. No. I, I do oh, have so I'm going to cross those, not going to make a ton of sound. What, what good is it if he's sleeping? Well, you can tie him up and then... And wake him up. Wake him up. I've got... Well, I could say, stop before you go, I have a question. <laughs> okay, he kind of turns around. What? 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 <laughs> Is there is there uh, anything you have for trade before you go? He kind of ponders. Do you have shiny? We have shiny, <laughs> but I have a I have a friend that carries shiny. Would you mind if I called him over? Mm, really shouldn't. I. I understand it'll be quick. Blythe walks out, holding a bag of diamonds. Ooh, super this is my shiny. With the shiny. You see the shinies? I don't know if you want to try to show fake diamonds to a goblin. <laughs> are you are you speaking goblin right now, Mervin? Not when I made that last statement, no. <laughs> well, I get, yeah, I would, actually, well, the I goblin have, speaks common. He was saying that. You guys, unless, yeah, Mervin, are you speaking Lilacs goblin to the to the goblin? Translating. I was speaking goblin, I guess, when I asked him about the shinies. Okay, yes, well then. Whenever, we, whenever he was saying, um, I said that we do have shinies, I could show him, and I have a friend that might have something to show him. But Lias, I translated that to you, so you can go ahead. I'll walk forward with a, a bag of diamonds in my hand, a few steps back from Mervin and the goblin. This is the friend I was telling you about with the shinies. Ooh. So, we're all speaking common now then? Is that the idea? Or are you still translating for Belioth? No, if, um... Well, he, so she, I guess she was translating when we were in the bush, and I'll just, I'll, uh... I'll take it on myself to walk out, and I'll speak common because I don't speak goblin. But uh, okay. I'm holding the bag of, of, of diamonds. Okay. Yeah. So, what do you want for shiny? Well, what do you want? Let's see, Marvin. Information? <laughs> I don't know. You think he's gonna want to tell us anything? He's, he's what what kind person? of information? About these areas? There's trees and farms. <laughs> I don't know if that's enough information to get you any shinies. Anything else that might uh, merit some shiny? I'll uh, I'll take one diamond out and I'll uh, just kind of drop it about two feet in front of me. Uh, I, there's not much else. That, that's cave? my home that's here does he move for the uh diamond no you're a big guy okay <laughs> just gonna wait for you to back up or, or something yeah makes sense <sighs> all right i'm gonna i need to uh telepathically communicate with somebody else who can help me out here <laughs> cast sleep uh, Hold person. See, see if there's more people who would want shinies. No, he already said that. He's gonna go run and tell his whole group of people that we're here. We're we're doing this to stop him from telling on us. Well, then we should grab him. Yeah, or well, grapple. Put him to sleep. You don't want him to fucking squeal or whatever. Make some kind of noise or alarm. So if or sleep, he just falls to sleep and sleeps for a minute, and we can move him. And we tie him up. Or All you right. guess hold person, or just guess a spell to stop him. The... Well, you should have. Yeah. Well, sleep is a is a level one spell, 
and okay. the whole person is level two spell, so I don't know. Right. If, yeah, try sleep. Level two spell. All right, if y'all thinking I should try to put him to sleep, then uh, I, I still have a wall thing. Crossbow bolt, uh, not as cast well. Sleep then. So if I cast spells and and I can do that in any in any language, right? So he doesn't necessarily know I'm casting a spell, correct? No, you'll be fine. Or does it matter? Okay. Well, yeah, I, I, I guess I talked to Lilac telepathically, who told me to put the dude to put him to rest. So what's uh? Okay, so let's see here. If uh, if the sleep fails. I'm going to take a walloping arrow across the wall and shoot. If I think the uh, the sleep is going to fail. Could Terrell do sneer and strike after if the sleep fails? That's what I was going to do. Okay, cool. Y- y'all are behind me, so I'm I'm attacking if it sleep Wait, fails. Wait, what the hell? Making sure we're all on the same page. Like, we can't let this dude go tattle on us. Why did that not work? So good. Is the pencil yellow in the top left? Um, uh, no. And I'm on all. Okay, so, okay. It says level one value. Submit. There we go. Wow. Took a while. Okay. So if I remember right, you can put. You can definitely put him to sleep. So yeah, I think it's if it's meets or above his hit points. Yeah. What is this five d eight? The total of how many points you creature that spell can affect? Oh, oh, that's. Technically, you could have put two of them to sleep with that roll. Two of oh, these okay. little ones. Well, all right. So now he's knocked the hell out. What do you guys want to do with him? I think we Tie should him take up. him back to the farm after he's tied up. That way can we, we can get to question. the farm in one minute. Doesn't matter if he wakes well, up. As, as soon as he goes down, I'll, I'll walk forward and, and start tying up the goblin. With, I've got uh, rope. Rope. We need. Do yeah. We need rope. Anybody? I got rope as well. I got fifty feet of rope <clears> uh, <throat> through his you're, mouth, you're right back there, to yeah. hands, feet, and then uh, start carrying him away from the cave entrance. You got one minute. You better better try. What I think we should do is fuck going all the way back to the farm because that was travel time. What I think we should do is just tie him to a tree outside a little bit far, like not too far away from this place, but far enough where he can't, you know, yeah. come Something back like that. in and talk to somebody. Mm. That was and then my we can sneak in and look around further. I agree. Pfizer cuts 10 feet of rope from his hemp and rope and hands it to Elias. Here. So, yeah, that, that was. I was just gonna pull him back away from the cave entrance. Not, uh, we're not going all the way back to the farm. Okay, good. Time up. Pull him back. You know, into the bushes, just away from the entrance, so he won't be heard inside. All right. You have tied him to a tree. I take a sock off my foot and shove it in his mouth gagged him with my <laughs> stinky sock. Alright guys, I'm ready. Let's go back in that cave. Shh. The Pfizer sees that and starts gagging himself. <laughs> <laughs> the two for one. Two for? So, did you want to ask, ask this uh, guy some questions, or what was what was what what were we doing here? I think we should question him. I mean, if you guys want to question him first before we sneak inside for more info about the cave. Like, like how many of his so friends were inside? When you put the sock yeah. in his mouth, he kind of throws up in his sleep. Oh, shit. I pull it oh. out of his <laughs> mouth. <laughs> while, they're, while they're questioning him, can I sneak inside and take a look? Well, Like, separately? Uh, yeah, if, if you would like to. I just want to poke my head inside the cave and see what I can see. Sneak. How did we find the cave? The guy was standing outside the cave, right? He, he was at the entrance of the cave. Oh, okay. Yep. We, we followed the tracks to this cave, and then we saw the, oh, the, gotcha, the, gotcha. the guy okay. in the goblin. So can I attempt okay. to sneak and, and just brief, or, you know, step in just a second just so I can see 
maybe the structure of the entrance of the cave? Sure, do a perception check. We'll see how much I can reveal for you. Should have me do that. <laughs> If you look on the map, you should see some there. All right. I scurry what? back to the group. It's I'll just ask. a regular cave, guys. It's a hook to the right. So, Belith, you should talk through me and Mervin. Like, you yeah, tell yeah, us... So, okay. I'll, uh... so, I'm going to get one of my, uh, my three uh, conversational daggers out. And uh, I will stick one. And the goblin's holding the goblin's mouth. I will stick one in his leg. Wow! What the hell? I'm gonna say, uh, how many how many goblins are in that cave? Obviously, you guys are gonna. Have to... That was an intimidation check. Holy crap, man! Oh, I, I don't I don't know. Uh, I don't five or. Do an intimidation, intimidation check. check? Yeah. yeah. Oh. oh. Terrible. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a natural one. Only one motion do. You call that a stab? You do. Big man like you. Alright, well I'm going to hold the handle of the, uh, the dagger and I'm going to cast Shocking Grasp. Oh my god, it crit. Uh, well, <laughs> he's dead. All right. Well, oh, <clears throat> he didn't know anything, guys. Let's go. I'll take my, my conversational dagger back. And... Lilac is just standing there in awe, like, <sighs> <laughs> Tuck the dagger back into my belt and uh, start walking towards the cave. She, oh, while you do that, that, Lilac cast Animate the Dead on this dude. Well, are you going to stop me? Because it, it takes a long time. No, I can wait. I think it's just one minute. Why, you got to go talk to what's-his-face about what he saw. All right, so okay. I tell uh, the four of them the structure of the cave um, from what I saw when I snuck in. And it looks like there may be a secret entrance or a secret cave straight ahead can't really tell yet but it could be a trap I'll make sure to sweep for traps as we're as we're walking I'll, I'll, I'll make sure to go first if you want I can take a look at it I could problem is if something's right there in your face a mob you're a, you got a bow and you're standing right in front of them oh no I was gonna look from the cave entrance Do you, uh... Do halflings have uh, night dark vision? We don't. I do. Well, looks like uh, Terrell's going in first. All right. So, how are you guys going to be able to see in there? I think Terrell said he had night vision, right? He's I have dark vision. Out. Well, Terrell can, yeah. But once we get in, are you guys going to stay back with the torch? I've got a hood. You don't lantern. have to worry about dark vision with this one. It is well lit in there. Oh, okay. Oh, perfect. Who, well, dimly in? lit, I should say. There, there's lighting. Wait, who's, who's going in? Well, all of us are going to go in now. No, oh. I'd like okay. to take a look, though, see if I can see but, around the bend a little Terrell bit. I think Terrell said he wants to, to sneak uh, stealth and then try and... Uh, yep, I'd like to try to go stealth. Take a look. Get a better peek. I've heard stealth, oh. taking a look, and trap looking for. Is that the... Uh, yes. And look Who's at the doing what? And is anyone helping anyone? So, I've got ten stealth. And you have what? What was yours? I have a plus seven stealth. Plus seven? But you have a higher perception. Yeah, well, yes. I think if you're both going, you're both going to have to stealth, I think. And then you could just... Oh, yeah, one looks for traps together. and one, one looks for the way. So I okay. need to do, roll for stealth? Your perception's higher, so let's both roll stealth, and then you'll you'll check for traps as I'm on the lookout with you. Check it. Okay. And 
I'm gonna I'm gonna help him look for traps. So when, when you do perception, do advantage. Well, I can do. I have stealth that I can give somebody advantage. Uh, but let's let's see if we even need it. I, don't... I got a twenty on okay. stealth. Is that good? So you guys think that you are extremely stealthy. Um, and then go ahead and what we're going to do is each time we kind of round a corner, roll perception. So if you are trying to round this corner, put yourself where you want to be. And then roll perception. I'm going to be behind this rock here. I'm going to look before I go. <laughs> I got 26 on perception. All right. Are we, you talking about rounding this corner that we can't see yet? Is yeah, I want to look corner? around here yeah. and look at the wall at the end of the corridor. So move your character where you want to stand when you're doing this. I have a question. Did any of you say you were going to look for traps when you yes. walked in there, or...? Yes, we're looking for traps. Okay. Alright, so... Right here, Terrell, you notice there is a wire. What do you use the disarm with? Slide of hand? Uh, yeah. Actually, thieves tools. Oh, perfect. I've got a, I've got a thieves tool with plus two proficiency. Or plus plus proficiency. What, we added those mm -hmm. pluses, but I don't know what that meant. Is that double proficiency? Yeah, double proficiency. Alright. I'll, so, I'll be back in a second while you guys... Uh, how do I... Check out the quarters for that. Let me see if there's an easy way on your character sheet. Uh, since they don't have a macro set up, you could do the stealth skill. That's got the same bonus that you would get with the Thieves tools. Just roll stealth? Yeah. Okay, so you do recognize it is a trap, obviously. You do disable it gracefully, I might add. Um... And because of the tension, you think it, it may have triggered more... It had the opportunity to trigger more than just a single trap. Am I able to, being at a disarm, am I able to take any piece of that trap with me? Like a, any of the wire or a trigger mechanism? Or is that not something you can do? Yeah, it's just rope. So you can add 10 feet of rope. Okay, perfect. Alright, so I went up here and disarmed that trap. I need to, uh, I'm gonna cast a spell if you don't mind. Are you outside the cave still? Um, yeah, where are you guys at? Who's We're all, just inside. Uh, where's Terrell? It's just Terrell. Which one's Terrell? I'm the hooded uh, figure. Okay, hold on a second, let me check. Oh, um, uh, oh, what, what's, what's the little dude right there standing there? What is this? That was the goblin. That's the one we tied to a tree. He's dead. Oh. I like stuck a sock in his mouth and device or uh, Okay. And you guys are you guys up there are saying that it's clear? Oh, we don't know we yet. Are. We hadn't turned this corner. Yep, they okay. just just got rid of a trap. So you're looking into the next room now, right? Alright, yeah, but I'm coming up here and I'm gonna cast a invisibility on my on my buddy Terrell. Okay. Mind clicking invisibility for us? I'm, I'm trying. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I'm running stealth and invisibility. That's good. Okay, can you go back here? 
last up to an hour. And you said that's on Terrell. Terrell. Yeah, do, can you mark him somehow? Uh, maybe. He can, he can change his conditions to invisible. I don't know if that... Yeah, I got, a, I got a thing here for invisible. I can check. I know you can put little tags. I know you can put little tags on your token. Well, I got my guy on my screen marked as invisible now. Okay. Well, I know it's just for everybody else. Though. Yeah. Yeah. If you if you click on your token and then click on your cog, you can. Uh, there's a bunch of icons that you can select, like oh, yeah. a right underneath an eyeball. So yeah, I just got an eyeball. So you can like see now I got an ugly eyeball. Or do you guys see the eyeball? Oh, there you go. Oh, there, there you go. Yeah, that'll work. I couldn't click on any tokens. <laughs> I had to reload. Uh, okay, so we are looking at the next area here. Just so I don't have to say it every time. Every time he does a perception check, I'm going to help you. Okay. Alright, so I want to move up a little bit. Lilac, like you coming? She's just catching up. I'm gonna go she ahead and do perception again. Roll go for it. Do you have a little, uh, little friend? 18. I left him back there. don't notice any traps in this room. Uh, you did disable... From what you can tell, that rebel, that rubble behind you is from the trap that you... Uh, it's like a... Somebody before you guys wasn't quite as uh, graceful and has tripped it before and a bunch of crap fell down and ouch, right? And... They had to reset it and all that, so you are good. What the heck just happened? That was me, sorry. You went live? My, oh, yeah, okay. my buddy who, uh, my... Yeah, so he could watch if he wanted to. Okay. Um, down in the bottom east there, you see a wolf pelt, uh, just hanging there. And Terrell, you notice that there is something behind that, like a doorway. That's down here. Terrell, what do you, what do you, what do you think that is? Or where do you think that goes? I think I think some of this here. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna shrug. Now, should we we should investigate the rest of the room though, right? I see a barrel and some beds. Yeah, uh, there's not much in this room other than nope. what you see on the map. Well, should the invisible guy go before everybody else? <laughs> he ain't moving. Life just runs up. Just an All idea. Right. I'm gonna look at the wolf pelt. Okay, it looks like a wolf's pelt. But we don't actually know where you are because you're invisible. So, well, you hear so me. You, you hear me grunt. Tell us every... things. I guess I'll grunt. Well, I mean. We gotta know more than that. Well, Mervin's also in my brain. <laughs> he, he has a spell called uh, Mess. Or I'm not sure. I'm gonna look behind the wolf pelt. Well, yeah, but that's only me knowing where you are. You know. Yeah, you should that's be passing like, it you gotta, on. You gotta still come back to us and like we're, we're sitting here waiting for you, and then when you didn't say anything or do anything, I I walk forward. We just assumed you were dead. Yeah, I mean we don't okay. know if you're dead, so you gotta. You have to communicate with us. All right. I was excited. I want to go back. To tell us stuff. I want to go back and throw rocks at you guys, so you guys know where I'm at, or oh what direction God, I'm standing. Rock. <laughs> and I want to say what yeah, I see. Just, uh, Did I see a wolf pelt? Yeah, yeah. It looks like there's a door there. The sign. So I'm not in front of the pelt. All right. I'll say. Uh, let's let's keep moving forward. 
Check for traps, then uh, take a look. Yep, I'm gonna look for traps again. I'm gonna use perce perception. Oh, okay. I, I do not see any traps. You're gonna peek behind the wolf pelt curtain? Yes. Give me some perception again. Oh, hot damn. Okay, so. Let me do this. So, first thing you notice... Two wolves locked in some cages straight ahead. Here, here. And as you keep looking through the room, you see another goblin pop up. And then behind that one is yet another goblin. And because you are so perceptive, you think that there's even a goblin over here. You can hear it breathing. I'm going to inform them about what I think I know. We'll go back what I've seen. Here. Tell them about the wolves and the goblins. Yep. Tell them about the wolves and the goblins. We should set up a distraction. Make a lot of noise. Me and, you know, the other big boy right here. And you guys can get them from behind and we'll flank so, on them. We'll just so take them out. Are the wolves like, it, like, locked in cages or are they just kind of hanging out? They are locked <clears> in cages. <throat> Okay. I would like you know, to convert their wolves to our side if you guys wouldn't mind. Do you have beast handling? What's that? Do you have like beast master? Is that what no, you're... I got speak with the animals though. Well, I, I have an idea, guys. What about if I throw? I'll go oh yeah, I do need here. beast handling, don't I? Do I have that? No, no, I don't. Would Would you say, Marvin? Go ahead. I, I can send in a distraction. That's would be uh, helpful and not harm any of us. I could also try and throw, I have a thousand ball bearings. I could try and throw one in the far back corner and see if the goblins will walk away. I'm going to refresh because I got like a, a roll stuck in the middle of my screen I can't see. What, what would you prefer? I'll, I'll, I'll take your lead, Marvin. Well, I can, well, well, I have to cast a spell, so... But since I don't I'm, know how many spells we're going to need, so... But since I'm invisible, I, I should be able to walk through there and no one should be able to see me. That's true. So I was going to try to... Well, if I talk to the animals, they'll make my invisibility go away, I think, from what if I understand your thing, so if I use the spell or anything. Right, so go to a corner that you don't want them to go to and then toss something in the opposite corner. So basically is what I'm thinking is come like oh. here and then throw something here. A hand to rail a ball bearing. Because that way they will go check out this area, but you're over here. Yep, I'm gonna, I guess I'm just gonna push into the room just a little bit. And I guess I'll throw Try to throw a ball bearing back here in the back corner. Okay. Are you gonna stand by the curtain? Okay. Yeah. Should I should I describe that those are doors that you're throwing it at? Oh. They are, okay. Yeah. It does look like doors, don't they? How about how about throwing it over here? All I'll right. Throw it up here in this corner. Just get them to get them turn around. All you're right. gonna have to enter the room more though. Yeah. So, so what are we what are we trying to do? Do Once we have... he throws this, like, before you go in. Get them to turn around and then their backs are facing us. They can yeah. scream and then they can bring all of the all of the creatures that are in this cave that we have not fully explored yet to us. So does anybody right. have silence or something that can stop them from screaming? Or, yeah, some sort of spell that could target more than one person that is quiet and could stun them or silence them. I don't have anything for silencing. Me either. Everything I do makes people scream. 
They have very loud things. How about we take these goblins out, and then, then we handle the wolves since they're already locked up. No, no, no. We're we're talking about just try to cast like a and like an AOE thing here. Yeah, because yeah, those goblins, we're taking them out. They're going to be screaming and yelling like for their If we have, like, fins. something, we can cast, like, silence on this area. Does anyone have that? That's what, it that's doesn't seem to like it. I don't think so. No, I, I don't. I have silent image, not silence. What about your, right. I think so, I think you're thinking about a sleep spell. Mm-mm. No? no. But, yeah. It's, there's a, it's a bard spell, silence. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or, uh... Stinking gas, or hold person. Well, I have hold person, but that's a person. Hold person's level two. Yes. Guess that level three you can hit too, but I don't know how. How do your how do your how do you go from a level two to level three? You have to be. Uh, you so have like to when you when you skills. click on it, like say if I if I click chromatic orb. Right, it'll. I can do that, or if I do over here, this one just can be cast at higher levels too. Well, I know, but how do I know? So if I, it should. You should get a little dialog box, which is not popping up for some reason now. All right, so I'm not you gonna... might. You might not get the dialog pop up. Um, for moves like that, you would just hit the little bubble on your sheet for third level spell. Oh, so that so you've so used your third right. level spell for for. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. If that's something. Uh, you if, that's, do. if that's something you want. If not, then we just we go well, in well, and I'll fucking head do with the next. Like I'm, I'm fine with well, that give, too. Give me, give me a second. I need to I need to cast it so I can read it because I don't know what it is level. I have a question. Okay. While they're talking or whatever, can I? Is there anything in this room that's like cloth? Uh, there's four beds. It looks like. Okay, I'm gonna take one of the sheets off of the bed, rip it, give each one of our party members a piece of the bed cloth, and whisper, when you go and you attack a goblin, shove this in their mouth. We're gonna <laughs> gag them and, ki- and cut their throats. So, make yeah. sure we silence them our okay. own way. <laughs> well, so, like... old person, level three only gives me one additional, so that's still only two. Right, and then we just charge the third. Like, if you can hit... This guy and this guy, I push in, smack, smack, and he should die. You guys want me to move up in this corner and get this guy? Since I'm invisible, I could probably pass these two. You should be the one to initiate the combat. Hold on a second. It's like you'll run up there. As you're running up there, Terrell, we will move in behind them. I think you guys should let me get all the way up to the top and then get kind of behind this guy before you guys rush in. Which guy? Okay. Like, I'm gonna go up here to this right here, and then I'll I'll stand behind him and gag him from behind. And you guys want me to cast on these guys? Yes. Okay. Well, let me know when you're in position, Trout. All right. All right. Everybody, roll initiative, and then we'll get started. Oh, we got a pit fiend again. <laughs> oh, God, nightmares of that from yesterday, man. Is your initiative with advantage, Terrell? No, no. Oh, my. Oh. Yeah, is is it with advantage if I'm invisible? I forgot to switch it back to normal. So you just mouse over that, take the first one. So it would be, that'd be eleven. I don't know how that works. You just mouse over your initiative number on the right, mm-hmm. and it tells you what your dice roll were in parentheses. Oh, the I seven see. was your first dice roll. Uh, advantage was the nineteen. So I rolled a seven. Yeah, seven plus four. Sorry, so, I wasn't paying attention. So clutch, even though we're ro- roll rushing, uh, doing initiative. If I'm the first person that's going to do the action item, and that's cast a spell, wouldn't I still go first regardless of anything, and then I'm going to coordinate that with Trell? Uh, 
Okay. Uh, initiative is just rolled uh, for after you guys take care of your plan here. That's all that is. So. I messed mine up. Is there any way you can fix it? I rolled with yeah, advantage. Rolled 11. Well, since, bro, you can go ahead and move where your final spot's going to be because we haven't started the interaction yet. Or, or with him getting that close, close would that cause an issue? If he's invisible. Okay, sorry. What's the question? So can Terrell move here before we start the interaction? Or would him walk in close proximity to these guys cause okay. to... Hold on. I'll probably have to end up rolling on it. And the music's gone. We don't need music during battle. And we need some like Final Fantasy battle music. Go ahead and roll a stealth check uh, for your sneaking up on this guy. Good lord. Which one uh, was that? Was that for this guy? That's for all of them. So you can oh, position okay. yourself over there, wherever you're trying to get to. Okay, what was the next thing you guys wanted to do before attacking? So I'm going to cast a spell here that's going to impact this guy and this guy. And I'm going to telepathically coordinate with Terrell for him to engage combat with this guy simultaneously. Okay. That would start the attack. They want Is there me anything to... else you guys want to do? They want me to put a sock in his mouth or a piece of cloth in his mouth so he doesn't make noise. Okay. Do you have the cloth ready in your hand? Yes. We'll say that's a bonus action. Okay. All right, so he's ready. So, okay, so that'd be... Yeah, all right. Actually, so if you guys get... For... Yeah. Shouldn't so, we're not, we're four be the in there, though? Yeah, I need to be able to see, though. So exactly I'm what I'm saying. Here. Wouldn't we all be going into the room? Well, we can. If we all bum rush the room then they're going to react. But if they're so paying they're attention to the ball, I thought they were going to pay attention to the ball thingy. What ball thingy? We got a ball? No, he wanted me to ball, throw a ball, uh, no, ball bearing. You decided that you didn't want us to throw the ball bearing. Instead, I'm going to hold person, and I'm going to hold these two guys. Wow, this plan is, wow, this plan is interesting. interesting. Okay. Well, well, I'm, I'm all for something else. And then you you guys wanted him to sock puck, puck this guy. Well, technically, as soon as he, as soon as you cast that spell, right, combat starts, us four are stuck in this little thing. Well, yeah, but if we went in the room, wouldn't combat start? Or wouldn't they be able to make noise? I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't think there's any way to avoid them making noise at this point. Oh, then I'm not going to waste a level three spell, since I only have two. I don't think it'd be wasting for you to use that either, though. Like, you guys... that is a good spell to make us do more damage to them, but... Okay. All right, well, let me know what you guys want me to do. And when you want me to do it. If you want to, bum... if you want to go in there first... Then... Decipher, can't you stealth and go in at least? Yeah, I can stealth. All right, so... Oh, and... Bourbon, you can stealth too, right? I mean, I can stealth as well. Yeah, both of you should stealth and at least try to get behind the two, like, at least you guys are not loud like me and Belioth, and you two can be in the room at least. I'm gonna use my lucky to re-roll that. <laughs> you get an 11? <laughs> it's a one. That's yeah, so dumb. Oh, alright, yeah, fine. You damn rogue. You want to go by the other one of the other ones, or yeah, like behind one of these. I guess I'm pretty stealthy too. Uh, all right. And then Mervin, oh here. I'm already gonna no, I'm already gonna do an action. So what good is that gonna be for me? He's ranged. Because I'm gonna be if I'm gonna cast a spell, then I don't need to be within uh, for him to turn around, and stabby stabby me. 
so light. <laughs> Wanna try to stealth, my friend? P please? No, 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 I'm charging. <laughs> you, guys, you guys move, I'm charging. All right, cool. Okay. Oh. We're, I think we're, I think that's good, right? We're, we're ready? I guess I'll look, look at the other guys okay. and, and... And what's the order of events? So it sounds attack. like, it sounds like, Terrell, you are holding your attack action for Mervin to cast his spell. Yes. And it sounds like, Deficer, you are also holding your attack action for Mervin to do his spell. And then Potato and Belioth will start attacking as initiative comes through. Yes. All right. So I, I guess I'm going to telepathically ask each person individual if they're ready so we don't make noise. Well, are you ready? Pretty much. Halfling brother. Ready. Well, when there's people hiding behind the door, they're going to hear ruckus, so I guess it doesn't matter. Like, but I can ask them. They're probably going to hear the damn wolves. Yeah, we're ready. All right. Yeah. All right, well then, here we go. Let's start. Well, I guess I'm shoving the cloth into this guy's mouth. Uh, let's let's, let's, let's deal with Mervin's spell first here. Go ahead and do yeah. your spell, Mervin. I'm going to telepathically tell you when I cast a spell. Oh, okay. So then that way you know. And... Okay, both of them fail their saving throw. And I say, go, Trump, go! Sock puppet! I guess I put a sock in this guy's mouth. Okay. And do you so want to mouth. stab him or shoot him or whatever it is you do? Well, I'd be at a disadvantage if I shot him, though, right? Yep. You see a rapier? Yep, so I have my rapier and my shield mm -hmm. equipped. This guy's gonna make noise. Well, he muffled noise. Yeah. yeah. All right, so I'm going to use my rapier. I get to use two attacks on him too, right? Yes. Okay. I'm going to attack him with my rapier. The 12 hit. Nope. Ooh. You get to attack again? Yep. Yeah. That's a hit. 27 so plus I... piercing. Don't know. Oh, you don't have a one on there, I don't think. Let me look at your character sheet real quick. And I'm gonna telepathically notify Lilac and Belioth that uh, we're ready for action. And so that there's should be a, a dude. Should be a, a D8 plus four. So then you would just roll two D8s for in. I mean, just for it works now, but. So rapiers are, are d8s, right, Joe? Yeah, d8. Yep. Yeah, he didn't have the one uh, typed out on it. Okay. What do you mean a one? It's it has a one, but it's just kind of like a fake one. A fake one, yeah. Type Phantom one. one. So go ahead and roll two d8 for me too, so we can get your damage from the rapier on there. Okay. So, 10 damage. Do I get Goliath on that, that too? Uh, no, because okay. you only hit him once. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're right. I guess and I should... As, as he gets hit, he tries to pull on a rope. But the rope just falls down. And he's shocked. He's like, ah, what the... Uh, Deficer? I think it's your turn, right? Yep. So he is held by cold person, so it's automatic crit. And is it at an advantage? I think it is. It is. It is, yeah. So it's advantage on attacks, and attacks made within melee are auto crits. Oh my goodness, this guy is going to die instantly. He wants to die. Alright, so on crit. And sneak attack. Oh, well, on, on crit, I have piercer, which I get to roll an extra. Um, so do I roll... So that was just a single roll. Yep, so, so one I... more d8. So you would do 2 d8 because the crit. The crit plus your extra piercer d8, so 2 d8. 2, two d8. Right. 
Oh, wait. I also have the thing that lets me re-roll yep. a 1, so 1d8. It doesn't let you re-roll 1 for damage. Piercer I, does. Piercer does. So that oh. would be 8 plus so 16 for just a regular hit. And my sneak attack, which also crits. So... How does this work? So do I roll another 3d6 for doubling the dice roll? Visible anymore? Yeah. So another 3d6. But I've gotten a stealth Six. modifier for being invisible attacking that guy, yeah. by the way. 42. And I'm oh, yeah. That makes sense. What was I did. that? Uh, Oh, since I was invisible, that would have been a stealth attack too, right? Oh yeah, the first one would have been advantage. Oops. <laughs> Alright, so 42, and then I'm going to Whale of the Grave. This guy. Or looks down at his saber or his uh, rapier stares into the black swirling essence of the pommel you did well my friend oh thank you <coughs> wow okay. it's Napoleon dynamiting the raper <laughs> oh yeah big boy you like that <laughs> Dude, fat lord. So, so yeah, so that was five to that guy for way over the grave. Yep. Okay. Right, that in, uh, I want to move to this guy. No, I'm going to move to this guy. I'm going to help Terrell. Since he's at a disadvantage. Oh. And that ends my turn. Did I do all that right? Yeah. Uh -huh. Alright. Alright, so that was the surprise round. Uh, Terrell. It's up to you now. Oh, so I gotta attack him again? Yeah. Alright, so I'm gonna do my rapier. Twelve and twelve? Nope. Well, it'd be fourteen because it's flag can. Oh, yep. It's fourteen hit? Nope. Oh, got him. Okay, is that the end of your turn? I think so. Okay. Move on to the wolves. You hear them go, grrrr. Oh, I should have talked <laughs> to them. Uh, Deficer, go for it. I'm going to run up to this guy. Going to advantage repair. Just gonna crit stuff. Right. Another. That hits. Okay. My, that's my extra crit. And sneak it. No, I don't get. Or do I? No, because he's just help person. Oh, you have advantage. So yes. Advantage, so it's still sneaking. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. over at Terrell. Nice work. That one drops dead. I look over at uh, Mervin. I say, you're the man. 
That spell was Dunza. awesome. Dunza. And then we look okay. over at, at Lilac and Belioth and just kind of hold my hands up like, you guys going to come out or what are you doing? We wave them on. Come on in. <laughs> Coast is clear. <laughs> we saved you guys. Did you want to try and uh, tame one of these wolves? Terrell? Yeah, I was going to try to talk them into fighting for us or being our ally. I, I have a ration that you could try and feed. Yeah, I've got, I got biscuits in my pocket, if you remember. Oh, that's right. I don't know if I'm going to want them. I'm going to tell Lilac not to stabby stab the wolves. Oh, what, did do, what did I do with the plate of ribs? Do I still have a plate of ribs? Hey! You didn't need yes, them, I don't do. think. <laughs> yeah, if you want to hand them to me, I'll try to... To in these the cart, dogs. Technically, right? You left them in the cart. No, no. No, you said we cleared the cart. No, we didn't. I distinctly recall him saying that we had to, we cleared the cart. No, he said I should tell her to clean the cart. Oh. I guess the uh, the lady and her uh, her baby are eating very well. Well, I don't know what the baby. Yeah. Well, I, oh, I have a biscuit. I didn't keep my. I biscuit. have I have biscuits too. I didn't eat them. Y'all do y'all thing. I can't help you with the food. I guess I'll move over here. Animal handling. Try and tame the other. Do one. we have an animal whisperer? I've got plus five. I've got plus four. Skeleton and a wolf. If you want one. I guess I'm gonna sit there and look at the wolves and pull out my biscuits and talk to them. Use my speak with animals. Okay. That's a spell, right? Yes. We're not still in combat, right? So I can freely move? Yeah. Okay. Can you link that spell for me, Trigger? Yeah. Uh, is there an easy way to do it? Hold Just on. click the macro. Okay. Just click the spell. It says cast as a, a ri ritual or a spell. Cast as a spell, right? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. I can also so, get information out of these wolves, too, if it works. Yep, is there... Now they are... Oh, where are you? I like doggies! Okay, so are you going to use that spell and try and talk with them then? Yes. Okay, what do you ask them? Uh... I'm going to offer them both two biscuits apiece if they want to join and possibly give us information during our party. For the time being, we'll make sure that they eat better than what the goblins can ever do for them. Um... Try persuasion. It's not going to be good. <laughs> All right. Well, they I'm definitely not, they like this, the food. This door here. While he's doing that. You're sitting in a cage. It's. I didn't know if it was a cage I couldn't get in. Then I'll go right here and watch the door. So the wolves are growling at you at first to give them food. They've kind of settled down a bit. And to you, you hear them saying, like, Master, next room. I'm asking, next room what? They're, oh. they're wolves, man. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. And they seem pretty tame now. Yeah, they've calmed down a little bit. They're still aggravated. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, try. You can try sticking your hand in the cage to pet him if you want. Yeah, or I can do that. Handling. Yeah, I can do that. I'll stick my hand in the cage and try to pet, pet one. All right, they they let you pet them. I guess I'm gonna look at the rest of the party and ask if we want to let these guys out and pot and possibly feed them more. I can I can try to pick the locks. You want me to pick the locks? Y'all get ready to fight if we do. <laughs> I'm gonna stay back here. We're all letting wolves out. <laughs> Terrell, you're the. You've been talking to him. Do you, you think I should unlock him? I'm not sure. It's your call. Can I ask him if they're they're willing to be quiet for us? Not not to alarm anybody. Since I fed them. Why don't we send them on their way? Let them go. Yeah, I guess we could. I guess we could. That let way, them. we don't have to worry about them. Fighting us here in a few. Yeah, but we or don't we know. Kill them as and, as and she walk said, past. yeah, we don't know what they're gonna do when they get out. Leave them locked up. Are you trying to leave, take one or both? Mm -hmm. I'd probably just try to get one for now. Possibly Fire set the other one free. This first, this one here. Oh, okay. I guess we're back into uh, combat. <laughs> I'm, I'm tired of wait. Blythe is uh, tired of waiting for your uh, your dogs. Not All interested. Right. That one is charcoaled a little bit. Kind of gets the other one's going. And the other one's going batshit crazy now. <laughs> if we're gonna keep going, I'm just gonna keep hitting them. Anybody else? What is going on? I don't even know what's going on. I he thought you guys were letting them go. He just attacked he, one he of them. Said he was, I asked if he was trying to get both or one. He said probably one. So I started attacking this one. Okay, then what's, okay. what's his face? Open the door to the other one. Okay. And Blath will say, for the record, I think this is a bad idea. We should kill the animals and move on. And I'm going to thief pick the lock. And I'm going to do it again because I'm lucky. Okay. You pick the lock. Uh, wolf comes out. Kind of likes Terrell. Doesn't like Goliath that much. I tell the wolf that stay by my side. That way you can stay protected. I want to do two things. Okay. Okay, the first thing I want to do is rip this pelt curtain from the ceiling and put it in my bag of holding. Then I want to go over to the charcoal one and try to take its pelt too. <laughs> it's charcoal <Okay>. though. <laughs> I, I don't care. I can clean it. I can do things with it. I can sell it. Let me dissect it. Do you want the whole wolf or just the pelt? Uh, just the pelt. So we try to try medicine <laughs> or survival, whichever one you got better. <laughs> you just peel it off. It seems effortlessly easy for you. I put that in my bag of holding and I start marching toward the door. Okay. We have two doors, don't we? Is Terrell still invisible? No, no I, he attacked. I attacked. As soon as I cast a spell or I attacked, I lost invisibility. Oh, okay. So are we stacking up for the next room, or what are we doing? I'm taking back by the old door. I'm petting the dog. Do we, uh, do we want to check these doors for traps and uh, take a peek again? I can check the lower door. Or am door. I just walking through? Do you want to uh, help me out here? The cipher? Yep, I'll help. Alright. 
So I'm gonna take a look at the door. I guess you want me to roll perception with advantage. Yep. Don't see any traps. Okay, can I slide the door open a little bit and peek through? Yeah. Another perception. Okay. That one wasn't that good. That is what you see. All right, I inform everybody that the room. Hold on. Oh, there you go. And I go back in and tell the party that I've seen two goblins on the lower part of the room against the wall. And I asked them if they want me to check the other door. I see you. That. that. Yep, check it. I guess I'll check for traps once again. And I guess perception with advantage. You don't see any traps. I'm going to peek through the door. I got a 24 that time. DM, but you're kind of going through a door into a uh, looks like a well lit room. Okay. Like, kind of hard to get in stealth. But I'm you guys can try. My buddy Ralph on the uh, shoulder. I'm gonna stick behind my uh, giant new best friend who loves me. Uh, I'm gonna hang out behind him. Okay. Should we send Trell in again? Oh, uh, Trell needs another uh, ninja. All right, Trell, go take, go do a recon. Uh, there's not much else to see. Well, okay. All right, show. Sure. We need to hit stage Trell somewhere. Yes, I could sneak up through like here and then. Go over here. Then I could probably yeah, see. We, we need to see what's over here. Make sure that there's nothing up here. And there's even, not. Okay. The map just does oh. that. Oh, okay. So this is. Uh, are these doors here? Then is that what that is? 
that's the map running along. Oh, okay. So this is technically the last chamber of the map though, that we're using? Yes. Okay. All right. All right. Well. At least you ooh. helped me out with my first attack's going to be an advantage in the stealth. So, uh, so I guess, I mean, I guess we pretty much, we'll just say we kind of like talked about it. We moved back, talked here, and then got back into position. Well, I'm going to cast another spell here, guys. Pharrell, if you don't mind, we're going to send you over here. Somebody else want to come over here with Pharrell? I can't be too close because I get an attack at disadvantage with my longbow. Oh, oh, you have a longbow? Yeah, I'm a longbow okay. guy. I'm an all archer. Right, Remember, I, I missed all those uh, sword hits earlier? Yep, yep. What, what spell do you want to use? Um, give me a second. I'm trying to find it here. I'm going to use... I need 60 feet. Oh, I can see how big it is. Hold on. Oh, it's only 15 foot cube. Oh, I was gonna looking at uh, silent image or uh, yeah, which I guess we still do. Um, one of the things you can do for silent image is uh, do a fog and kind of make it where people can't see as an option. They can't see us. We can hide or something. Or I can hold people again. Should I hold the big guy? I would probably try to subdue that bugbear, though. Yeah, if you're That's gonna do a uh, hold person, I'd probably try to hit those two. The the uh, the bugbear, and then maybe the dude in the back. I can't. They're too far apart. So I don't know if I can. Hold on. My range is sixty feet. Oh, if my range is 60 feet, then I guess I can... Oh, okay. The humanoids must be within 30 feet of each other. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can do those two then if you guys want. I can, I can kill the top guy pretty quick, probably. Okay. I would think I could, if they're as strong as the other ones, because I did very little damage to the other one. Okay, pretty quick. All right, so you guys want me to hold this guy and this guy? Mm-hmm. All right. All right, so I think I think what the plan is is we're going to, for our ambush round, I think uh, Terrell's going to, uh, from stealth, he's going to open the door and attack the, uh, the top guy. Yep. Okay. And then we're going to open the door, and Mervin is going to cast hold person on that guy and that guy. And uh, I'm just charging into hit shit with Max. Cool. All right, Mervin. Do that All spell right. for me. Hold on there, Shifty. All right, let's see. Hold the turn. Level three. This is my last level three. So I hope we don't need it for anything else. Okay, this guy oh, I love hold person. is held. This guy made his save. And Terrell, what are you doing? Um, Shooting your longbow at this guy? Yes. And I want to tell the dog to watch our backs and if he senses anything to bark. <laughs> oh, hey, there's a little dog. Hey, guy. I'll tell him to watch my ass, basically. Okay. I guess I'll open the door up and attack this guy. But first, I'm going to put Hunter's Mark on him. Because I forgot okay. to do that last time. And he gets an advantage, too, because he I'm in stealth, seat. yeah. How but, many spell slots do you have? I'm going to go ahead and hit Longbow. What's that? So how many spell slots do you have? Well, I used I got four in level one, but I used one for the speaking with animals. But my hunter's mark doesn't use any 
any of my spell slots. I think I have to cast it so many times before it actually counts. Is that like a special thing for your specific class? I believe so. Butch could probably tell you what, what's going on. Yes. There. Okay. Mm-hmm. Alright, but I'm going to use my longbow. Okay, you got a hit. And I'm stealth, I'm stealth too, right? So. Uh, I mean, you're not anymore. Yeah, but when I first attacked, I was still underneath stealth, or is it, I go out of stealth because I cast Hunter's Mark. Hunter's Mark yeah, would have canceled you're, it. Yeah, you're fine. You, it did not cancel it. I don't think it, I, I don't know, I'll have to check on that one. It actually probably it, would. Yeah, I think it would. Because I, it I think it, Hunter's Mark would have canceled it, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think it would have, to be quite honest, so I'm probably not stealth anymore, so. I hit for six there. I'm going to attack with the longbow again. 20 hit. You're not at an advantage anymore. Oh, did I? Yeah. So I rolled an 11. Plus a 3 and whatever. Kind of fucked that up, didn't I? And you can do Colossus Slayer, but he's dead. Oh. Okay. Didn't mess it up too much, but he did. And this guy right here, the spell didn't work on him? Correct. Alright. I'm going to hold my ground here. Okay. And my turn is over and I'm not invisible. Uncheck that. Alright. So, Gorunk is up first here. God damn. I'll come over here to Terrell and try and hit you with his Morning Star. Does a 15 hit? No. Okay, so he misses. Oh, yeah. This goblin's going to try and get out. He's stuck. This one. And then he will try to hit Lyoth here with a scimitar. Does a 21 hit. Uh, uh yep. Eight points. Terrell, what are you doing? I'm going to use... My Zephyr Strike. Get away from this bugbear. I'm going to move down here. Here. Okay, I got to measure. I can't go 35 feet if that's my speed, right? That ends my turn. Or is that the max movement I'm allowed to make? Max movement is your... Turn? Do you yeah, have 30? So you have I have 35. Then you can go 35. Oh, okay. I guess I'll move... You still have action. I guess I'll move here. And I'm going to use my longbow on the bugbear after I mark him. Move Doesn't mark. he get the reaction? Actually, no, I can't. I can't. I can't use my mark, Hunter's Mark because I used the Zephyr Strike. Uh, Zephyr okay. Strike doesn't provoke uh, opportunity attacks. He yeah. used his bonus action to cast it, is what he's saying. Yes. It's a bonus action to move Hunter's Mark. Time out. Did you just move away from that guy, though? Yes. That, that's what he's saying, though. Because Zephyr Strike, it's, if you read this skill, it says your movement doesn't provoke opportunity attacks. You cool. move like okay. the wind. All right, so I'm going to use my longbow. Does an 11 hit? Nope. Longbow him again. 14. Uh, nope. 
God damn, this thing's strong. <laughs> Alright, my turn's over. Okay. Mervin, what are you doing? I'm trying to. Okay. Night night. Uh, that has no effect on him. Oh, okay. So much for that. Um, well, hold on a second. So, I'm getting the hell away from that dude again. Hold on, I got two more. Alright, I don't think I have any. You can, thing can do, right? use inspiration, right? What? You're a bard, right? I don't know what that means. Who would yeah, I you, be inspired? You, you give someone inspiration? You give bardic inspiration to people? Oh, so, sure. That sounds good to me. Who wants to be inspired? You, you, give it to, you pick. You're giving it to someone. Oh, uh, well, I guess... I mean, Terrell just missed three of his four attacks. He might need it. Uh, I'll, I'll inspire Terrell. He, he, he looks down. You got this, man. You have to roll for that? that? How's it so, he's not still. This ninja needs to go. Oh, huh. My inspiration is one. I don't... How does it do that? Um. So your your inspiration... His bar... Can you, do you, click, can you click on the ability bar to inspiration? Hold on, where is it located? I have to find it first. Oh, um, yeah, here we go. For him, it's a D6. Okay, so anytime you make a D20 roll, uh, Terrell, if you want to, you can add a D6 to the roll. Oh. Because of that bardic inspiration. I'm sorry, D8. Oh, yeah, D8. Okay. Oh, we can wait until after. Mm hmm. You get to choose if you want to use it. You don't have to. It lasts for 10 minutes. Oh, okay. So you can roll and then decide if, rather or not if mm -hmm. you want to use it or not. I mean, That's you, nice. can, you can inspire people anytime. Like, you don't have to be in combat. Like, if you know someone's going to stealth into somewhere, give them a bardic inspiration. If you know someone's going to do some sort of check, you can inspire them, to, and if they need that bardic, they can add it. If not, it lasts for 10 minutes. And, and how often can I use that? I feel like it would be more than two. I, I don't have it pulled up. It says two of two. I don't know what that means. Uh, it's the charisma modifier. Oh, okay. So two times per short rest or long rest. Oh, okay. They used it once. <clears throat> you doing anything else, Mervin? Um, I don't, yeah, no, I don't think so. I don't think there's anything else I can do. But... I think, oh yeah, you used sleep. Okay. What's, what's magical inspiration? All right, Deficer, uh... you're up. Joe, you Oops, muted? Right, muted. Yep. I'm gonna I'm gonna slip past Belioth and this guy, hopefully dodging his opportunity of attack, and I'm going to also dash as my bonus action to try and engage this guy. Okay, gonna try and hit you on your way through there. Does a twenty one hit? It does. Six damage. I want to half that with Uncanny Dodge. Okay. Why wouldn't you just kill this guy? Because this guy's easily for me to kill with that crit. And plus, you know, he's right there in your face. You can kill him. You can get some action in. I was going to go to the other guy. But, all right, go ahead. All right. 
independence. Okay, it's crit. Roll your 2d8s. I like two of them. That sneak attack. 33. Alright. And then that is my turn. Okay. 44. <laughs> Lilac, you're up. I'm gonna go here. Oh, wow. Get all up in it, Jim. And I'm gonna touch him and inflict wounds at level two. That definitely hits. Oh. Holy cow. 24 damage? Wow. Yeah, inflict wounds is nasty. So you see the bugbear start bleeding. Any old scars or wounds that he had just start opening up, and there's new ones forming too. Uh, Blythe? Alright, uh, well, I have this guy in my face, so I'm gonna hit him twice. Alright. Does 22 hit? Yep. Alright, 7 damage. And uh, 18. That hits. And 12 damage. Alright. That's it. Pretty badly hurt. We'll go to the bugbear here. Uh, he's going to swing his morning star at Lilac. Does a 20 hit? Yep. Four points. Uh, and this goblin down here. I'm guessing an eight doesn't hit Belias. No, it does not. Okay, Terrell. All right, I'm gonna move my hunter's mark. The bugbear. And I'm going to use my longbow. Shoot around lilac. Okay. Eighteen hits. So go ahead and do your Colossus Slayer too. And then your other attack if you want. Twenty-three hit. And that hits. You know. Now, does he want to use my advantage I gave him? Uh he doesn't need it. I have to have so, plus I have to hit so I have he, to roll he can just add a D eight to the attack. But since he already hit, he doesn't have to. It's it's to the roll, it's not to yeah. damage. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, so it's... I get it now. I so, didn't yeah, understand so it it's, either. If you, if you, like... You would add that to any roll or, or something Like if I do. missed. Yeah, so, like, say you were trying to sneak into the cave earlier and he gave you the Bardic Inspiration and you rolled badly. I could roll again. Then you could have chosen to use that D8 to add to that stealth roll. Oh, okay. Is that a one-time use? Or is it good for the uh, whole 10 minutes? It's Yeah, it's good for 10 minutes. You can use it once. Okay, gotcha. Mervin, what are you doing? I mean, do we have any... Oh, we still have baddies left? Yep. This, this one dude left. Little dude. Oh. Alright. Here goes nothing. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> I shoot a pebble at him, and it bounces off his chest. That sounds about right. Doing anything else? Um, crying. In my tears. Okay, Mervin is crying. My inability to inflict damage. Deficer, what you doing? Deficer's gonna... Start moseying around, inaudibly talking to his rapier. 
You, uh, you want to attack this Wait. guy? Wait. Uh, yeah, we still have a guy to attack. Don't, isn't there this big ass guy too? Not a big ass guy. No. That's just a pile of bones that you're pointing at. Oh, okay. That looks the like the big a guy big died right big in front guy. of you. Yes, Lilac, you could take the pile of yeah. bones. The Vicer's just walking around, just talking to his sword, and then yeah. that's it. He, he completely ignores the guy standing in front of Belaya. <laughs> okay, Lilac, what are you up to? Uh. Can I? Do, is this thing in front of me a bugbear? Yes. Yes, it is. I want to skin it. Okay. <laughs> Survival or medicine, whatever you're better with. Give it to me. Good lord. <laughs> okay, you've got some bugbear skin. And some creepy points. Can I also cut its head off and like scoop out the brain and put the head on my head like a hat yeah you can do that i'm doing that now i look cool guys fuck you intern that was a really long turn thank you i right, guess i'm just gonna keep trying to hit this guy someone's standing on my dog oh no he's not he moved all righty is the dog still friendly yeah, he's sitting right beside me. He I mean, it is to Terrell. He only had a 10 minute duration, right? No, it's just to talk. With him. Yeah. Oh, he befriended it forever? Maybe. It's a wolf, they, they're known to turn. Yeah. Just keep throwing the biscuits. I don't have any more. I fed the last four biscuits I had. Give them both two. Oh. I got one. Okay, so. You have slain the enemies. Uh, you see here and here are two really big cages, and there are about 12 people in them. Actually, 13, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm sitting in the throne. I run over, and I start picking the locks. All right. Can I make a perception check on the people inside to see if there's, uh, if, these, if anybody seems out of place? Uh, sure. Go ahead and roll perception. Nine. Would you like me to look? They, they <laughs> all look like people in distress. Good. Good. They look like people. All right. I'm going I'm to go ahead and start picking the locks. Okay. You have picked the locks with ease. You even see the key on the, on the bugbear's belt there but that's okay you don't need keys i got my own keys that's right you, you rolled with advantage sir poor oh what was my first roll oh snap it would have been 15. what's merlin doing he's looking at something a purple chest uh that's a throne oh did, did 15 open the lock yeah Okay. Not quite as easily as before, but yes. You were daydreaming about that moment. Uh, and you'll also see a chamber off here. Like It's not like a whole other room, but basically that's where the stash is, though it's kind of running low. Uh, that's where you'll have the items I'll post later. Ooh. Um, so we... you have released the 13 people. Can we Ooh. also check for the dragon artifacts, or is that in the loot? Is that part of the loot? Because we listened to him say that earlier. He is right. Mm -hmm. Yes, <clears throat> the one guy was looking for dragon artifacts, right? Right. That doesn't mean that there's any in this cave, though. Right, as in the goblins would have given him the dragon artifacts. Ah. Uh, got it. Okay. So what do you do? Are we taking the humans back to the, uh, the farm? Did they just run away? They're... Coming out of the cages, they're with you guys right now. I'm going to sit there um, and ask them, 
do you have a wife and baby? Do you have a wife and baby? He- hello, sir. Do you have a wife and baby? Ma'am, that kind of looks like a sir. Do, do you That's have a wife and baby? Why I never. <laughs> I'm looking for that family, specifically. Uh, and you'll have the one man will speak up and say, I do. Is that who sent you guys? Yes, I'm here to get, uh, take my car. I mean, take you back to the woman who sent us here. Follow me. Excellent. And I'll start to follow her. Wait, but first, let me check out this cool bones. Perception check these bones. Okay. I'll help. While, uh... I'm surprised you didn't ask for help. That's why I was standing there. My, while the Pfizer is uh, looking at those bones, can I take this bone here on the table and throw it at him and make a uh, skeleton noise? Sure. <laughs> Do I have to roll for that? No, you throw it at the Pfizer. Uh, Lilac, you see enough bones there to make a complete body. I take these bones and shove them into my bag. There are some extras, but, you know, that's okay. I want okay. all of them anyways. <laughs> I'm going to use them for decorations. Deficer lets out a very feminine squirty as the bone flies towards it. People are throwing femurs around. Okay. Walk here. Just hit this guy an extra time. And just keep going. I'm going to talk to the dog. No. Okay, you pick up the bear carpet. Uh, Terrell, you're you're waiting in the cave to talk to the dog? Yeah. And I ask him if he wants to be free or if he wants to hang around. Do you want to um, accompany me on my travels? He, he's a little worried. Uh, and anxious to leave, like, this area. Can I ask the dude while we're taking them back questions about, like, so what were they going to do with you? Why'd they capture you? Uh, the husband will answer. Uh, well, we're, we're not quite sure. I, I mean, there was a big pile of bones there, and some of them were, I, th- I think they were making, like, eating motions towards us, so I don't know if they were planning to eat us, or sell us. I have no idea. Oh my god, is the dragon still alive and you're gonna, like, be its food, though? Could you imagine? And she burst out laughing. She His face kidding. turns white. <laughs> so fucked up. <laughs> he kind of pauses and questions his life choices of following you out of the cave. It's okay, oh I have god, your wife and baby. Going? He panics more. <laughs> should we okay. uh, should we look around once we get to the edge of the cave in case there's more parties coming back? Sure. You do not see any parties coming back. Okay. Did y'all take anything from that table? Uh, I threw the skull that was on it at, at Deficer. What, what, what? Did you, like, see if that skull was magical or anything? Nope. No, he just threw it. Did it feel magical when it hit you, Deficer? It felt very <laughs> magical. What else was on the table? It looked like some interest. Uh, there were keys on the table. That's for the cage, you can presume. That we picked instead. Who needs keys? Yeah. Yep. Locks are only there to keep you honest. There were some scribbles and pictures. You can assume the bugbear was trying to be an artist, but he wasn't very good. <laughs> the hell is a bugbear anyways? It's just a big goblin? Uh, yeah. yeah. And there was another one kind of detailing, I guess, what loot they were getting from the one guy, the uh, the stranger before, which was just gold and other items. Hello? I'm talking to my party on the way out. So did you guys search like every table and everything that was there? Because I got what I came for. I'm out of here. All your dead carcasses. I came to uh, 
show my sword how uh, how it's done and um, teach him a lesson. So I came what out here. What I came for. I got what I came for. Is there anything cool on this table? Uh, nope. Nothing what about of interest. This looks like a crossbow. Don't jump in the hole. Wait, there was a hole? No. <laughs> it's not a hole. No, it's a pillar. <laughs> it's a pillar. <laughs> is, there, is there anything underneath the throne? Because it's a throne move? Is there a little hidey stash over here anywhere? Uh, there's a skull. All right. I'll take, take the skull. skull. I'm taking the skull. I'm, I'm taking the skull I threw at, at Deficer as well. What is this right here? Well, you guys ready to get head back and get my cart? No, my cart. Uh, I s pull out my wand. <laughs> As you and guys are walking, you see a uh, bugbear kind of out in the distance there. Shit, like, people, out. stand back. I push the husband back so he doesn't die. Out here? Like where we're at? We'll say 40 feet from you. Does he appear to be coming towards the cave? He's just standing there, looking at you. I taught him. Terrell, go talk to him. I can't speak orc. Or go talk to the bugbear. Oh, you, you got an animal speak. The bugbear an animal? <laughs> it's, got it's, bear, it's got bear in the word. It's, it's humanoid. <laughs> it's a big goblin. The only people I know that speak goblin is uh, Lilac and... Bourbon. Quick, could somebody go talk I'm getting, to him? I'm getting the hell out of here. Can I, I, to talk to a can I do a perception dog. check and, and see if I can see anything else? Friendly. Sure. I should do that with uh, advantage because... Uh, you don't see anything else. Uh, he does start moving towards you. He's running. He Come sucks. at me, bitch. Yep. <clears throat> Let's get out of here. Let's go. We got what we came for. Uh, I draw my weapons. I cast... How far out? You said 40 feet? Yeah, I cast Ray of Info a little bit. This? <laughs> <laughs> Enfeeblement? Enfeeblement. Ah, I gotcha. Can't say that word? <laughs> Nine to hit. Totally. It's a beautiful ray of enfeeblement. It shoots right through him, and the illusion disappears. Yeah, fuck you. Oh, an illusion. Yeah. <laughs> an you guys illusion. see that? Can I just we, killed uh... that. It's an illusion? <laughs> can, we, can, we, can we take a, round, take a look around to see uh, if we can see who cast the illusion? I met the perception of people. Anybody else want to sure. help Sure. I got. I didn't roll. I didn't roll with advantage when I did that the first time because I thought. Well, now that we've seen that, that, me. that was an illusion, we're looking for someone who cast that. So, I'm just gonna whistle as I walk away. Gotta go. <laughs> Defyser is gonna walk up to the uh, tied up skeleton and attempt to decapitate it. Who else is? I tell you what, it's an illusion. So, are we still with all the escapees? Skeleton. Yes, they're still with you. They saw the bugbear too. Did we talk to the? Did we talk to all of them? Um, you were asking who has a mother and child. What about the? I'm gonna go through all of them and be like, why were you, you taken to all of them? You do notice there's thirteen instead of twelve, like the uh, woman mentioned. Oh, okay. yeah, an In extra which case, one. I wanna, I wanna be like, who's the extra one? I bet you what one of them's a sparrow or which one of you I'll, ate uh... a farmer? Raise your hand if you're not a farmer. I start counting. I'll uh, I'll pull the the father aside over here, away out of earshot from the rest of them, and I'll say uh, there's not... there's more than of you than than we thought. Is there someone here that you're uh, unfamiliar with? This guy raises his hand. His name's uh, Chab. Chab. And he's not going to be dishonest about anything. You asked. He's he's like, yep, that's me. Chad, what are you doing here? Where'd you come from? Well, um, I've been investigating some strange happenings in the area. 
There used to be a dragon here until recently, so I kind of been here looking as to why. Uh, does it seem like it's telling the truth? Go ahead and roll insight. I'm pretty good. Give me a goddamn good roll can, tonight. Can, can Jesus I, Christ. Can I cast, can I do insight? Because I, I, I'm watching sure. still. You guys oh, are making me roll all oh, these shit. wisdom checks. I'm, I have no wisdom. No one else oh, is saying I had that, anything. I did so. that wrong. Sorry. I mean, you pulled them aside. I pulled yeah. the farmer I rolled aside. A, I rolled a one. Not this guy. <laughs> oh, I thought you pulled. I pulled okay. the father aside to ask if, if there was someone that he's unfamiliar with. Like, Whatever. I have a real farm. question, Mr. Chab. What yes. were you doing around here to get captured? Well, I was in the cave before the goblins had moved in. They've only been here for a short time. And I was looking at the, the goblin stash that was back there. Why were you looking into that? Okay, as soon as he says he was looking into the stash, I'm going to grab him and search him. Oh, what a... uh, he doesn't have anything. Oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, he could be hiding something. I don't know. I'm running the pockets. Get... He did get captured from him, so I think they would have taken it off of him if he had I something. Mean, could be, could be he could have hit it. He could have hit it. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. in the prison, the prison pocket. Wallet. As I was saying, it's part of an investigation. I work with the... I don't know how to say that word. Zentarim. So it's just part of the report. Go to the cave and find out what I can. But the goblins got me before I could get out of there. So Pfizer asked him in Thieves Cant, do you understand this? Uh, something wrong with your friend here? I, what, what's he I saying? Just, and I just nod. Oh, ignore him. I think he has mental problems. <laughs> and then I ask the, I ask him what Zintarum, why Zintarum sent him here exactly? Like, what is Zintarum? Secret society or some shit? Um, well, Zantarum is just seeking to be more wealthy and powerful. So when some powerful being like a dragon disappears, they kind of want to know where it went and if it's going to affect any of their other operations. I put my hand on this guy's shoulder and cast Inflict Wounds. <laughs> okay. At second level. I just don't trust him, guys. Sorry. <laughs> he howls in pain. Ah! And then I say, are you telling us the whole truth and nothing but the truth? Of course. What the hell would I lie for? So help you, Zen I can tell you that the dragon had been slain and somebody had started harvesting parts of it. Do you got any parts of it in your group? Uh, no. The only parts are back there in the... with the loot, or whatever is left of the loot. I tell Deficer to come over here and watch this guy, and then I go up to Belias and I whisper in Belias' ear, we should fucking murder this dude. This guy needs to die, like right now. Right. I missed part of the last thing that just happened. My wife walked in and was telling me something. Lilac um, wants to kill this guy. We should kill this guy. But but I'm trying to say it in a nice way because, you know, he was just captured and I don't want other party members to object. So I'm whispering it to you. Okay. So we're, we're 100% sure this guy has nothing on him. 100% sure he has nothing on him. But he works for a really bad group, it sounds like. I missed all that. Um... I don't, I don't know what to say now. I missed the whole fucking thing. Okay, so he works for a faction of people who want to get power through collecting parts of the dragon somehow. But that's what I understood. 
Uh, they don't necessarily want to collect parts of the dragon, but somebody else had been. Other adventurers, oh, you I can assume. You said, I thought you said he's this just he's just trying him. to find loot for he, big money. Yeah, right. He's just investigating the area. He was sent here to investigate for that that group, and that's it. Yeah, but my whole question was, why would that group send you here to do that? And you um, said because they want power, and they they seek power and wealth. Um, and, and that's why I want to kill him. Let's okay. kill him, boys. How's it, how's he looking after that uh, inflict wounds? Pretty hurt. Flasher looks over and says, "Look, guys, we came for we came and we got what we came for. This guy looks harmless. He's already very badly injured. You guys can do what you want with him, but I'll have no part of this." And he starts walking away. He walks towards the skeleton that's tied to the tree and attempts to decapitate it. Hey, hey, don't do that. I, I follow him. Hey, hey. No. Hey, hey. Well, it's not tied to the tree anymore, is it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, she tied it yeah, to the I tree. Yeah, I make sure it stayed in the tree because, you know. Pretty brainless. I don't know how to use my power that well yet. I'm uh, learning it. Okay. Get it? Character development, boys. Gotcha. Testing it out. So are you following me to the skeleton? I'm smacking you in the head. Hey, don't do that. Uh, Terrell, <laughs> I guess I guess we're discussing this out loud now. Terrell, what what do you uh what do you think? I'll be right back. <clears throat> I say we turn him into the guard. See if he's got a bounty. You could turn him into the guard dead. Bounties are dead or alive. Kill him. We might get more information out of the guard though if he's alive. Wait, what, Sir, I'll ask. I'll ask him. Uh, well, I guess he just stepped away. But all right. So I say to Lilac, you realize my entire life is devoted to slaying the undead, right? Lilac mimics you in a really fucking mean way, where she just like bows the words that you just said back at her and uses her hand like it's talking. Basically. And I sprint towards the skeleton and attempt to decapitate it. <laughs> Fuck off my skeleton. I'm gonna bite you. You're new. <laughs> What's Marvin think about this situation? He said he walked away first, so I don't, I don't know. Yeah, that's why I wanted to talk to the dude. Yeah, if you ask what I'm thinking, I'm a whole, uh, Wholesome kind of guy, and you know, not about killing people. I'm with he you. He was just a, he was just captured like the rest of them. I think we should let him go. I'm still worried about that illusion that came running at us. Yeah, I know. That's yeah, why I said yeah. I wanted to look, and you guys, oh, it's, I asked like four times. Everyone's like, nothing. We're just standing here, like waiting on somebody to pounce guys, on us. Guys, hello. Anybody want to help? Click the right. button. Have... Where the illusion Zero came perception. From. Like, please, no, someone else Terrell, roll. Terrell, I had Terrell perception. Did. I get. What? I helped him. He rolled wisdom, and that was insight. I forgot. I forgot to do it with advantage, though. All right. Um, I'm helping Terrell with uh, perception to see if anyone casted that illusion. Well, isn't the illusion gone now? Or I mean, yeah, the illusion We're looking was to see minutes to go by now. It. I got 16. <laughs> Do we find out who uh, cast the spell? Clutch is probably like beating his head off the desk right now. He said he stepped away, so I don't know if he's there to hear. Um, I'm here. Hold okay. on. What's Lilac's alignment? Is that like something public? Evil, but you're not evil? really supposed to know that. Oh, okay. I was guessing chaos. Oh, really? We couldn't pick up on it? 
supposed to know. Like, we're not supposed to know each other's pluses and stuff either, but since y'all are new, I'm like, whatever. Oh, so we can't say, like, oh, I, I got have plus four and I got perception. eight. You're not supposed to be saying any of that garbage. Well, yeah, can't we tell whenever you do the rolls, though? You're not really supposed to be looking at each other's rolls, but... Oh, so we're supposed to do output GM? Not supposed to. You you can. Like, so the whole point of this game is to, you know, take on the persona of the character you're playing. You're not really supposed to know everybody's stuff. Gotcha. I gotcha. Okay, so who is helping Terrell to give him this advantage? I did. Okay. So <laughs> fucked up. By the way, by the way, guys, read chat. Terrell and Deficer. <laughs> so Deficer looks back at Terrell and just shrugs his shoulders. I tell uh, Lilac and I'm not saying anything. I'm actually I caught up to Mervin, looking back with a glare. Back at Lilac and tell her, better keep that skeleton on a tight leash. And I just keep walking away and meet up with Mervin. I cut my skeleton down, tie it up, you know, got a leash around it, basically. <laughs> like I drag the it back. Dead. Yeah. I drag <laughs> it back over to Chab and I say, Is there anything else you want to tell us before I sick my pet on you? And then the goblin kind of like barks at him or foams at the mouth. Something weird. Just, is there anything else the dude has to tell us? Now, how does the skeleton um, foam? No. Hey, it's a zombie. Terrell, did you, uh, did okay. you notice anything over there? Yeah, Mer it, Mervin's the one that cast the illusion. <laughs> the Pfizer didn't say anything. And... The Pfizer keep the secrets among halfling halflings. I think, I think it was a, I think it was a trick. A nice party gift. I'm a jokester. Ha ha. The Pfizer lets out, lets out a belly laugh. The game is like... Don't don't get mad at... Uh, Where'd my dog go? <laughs> don't get mad my at... My little wolf buddy. He, oh, he's still he in the cave. My, he knew my plot. Jack's still here. Half, Halflings unite. That's right. I'm going to tell the wolf that if he wants, he... he he can uh, go free and do what he wants, or if he wants to, he can come along. Okay, we'll figure out what to do with him after the session. That's fine. Um, I'll give my, my biscuit to the wolf for another snack. And I'm heading off, too. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to toss it toward you. Yeah, I'm not going around the thing. So we take the prisoners back to the The city? Town. Yeah, the city, the farm, the city. Alrighty. That's uh, probably about three hours, I'd say, in total. Uh, you make it back there. You see arrows and javelins are picked out of the cart. The woman is waiting there with a baby in her arms, and she sees the familiar faces of her family and starts rushing towards you guys. She's greeting everyone. Oh, thank you. You came back. I walk I'm around her and straight to the cart. It was the least we could do, man. Yeah, you gotta need all that cart to store all your little skins. <laughs> all right. And she uh, calls over one of the city watch and explains the situation and shows the promissory note uh, and saying that, that you guys were the ones that deserve the reward. So you'll have that totaled at the end of it. Uh, and Chab is, you know, kind of flustered because he's bleeding everywhere. Wounds are starting to heal. 
Um, he wandered with you guys, nonetheless. Um, was he good the whole time? Yeah, he didn't do anything. And then I put my hand on his shoulder, and I cure wounds. Oh shit, he's shocked. <laughs> <laughs> he was uh, thinking he was just going to feel a lot more pain since he was on the cusp of death there. Oh, thank you. You're so nice. Arthur looks at, at Chob and says, She's crazy, right? Tried to kill you, and now she's healing you? And there you I, go. I'll, I'll give him some help, too. Oh, thank you, sir. And I gave yeah. him a swig of my, my uh, Arabellum wine. Ah, healing for the soul. Thank you. All right. Um... And he will head towards the end because he's tired and of sitting in a cage. Before he leaves, sleep. I'll ask. Can I ask him uh, where his uh, Z whatever fucking guild? Z guy. If they have a, if they have a headquarters or a geist. Any any kind of information on that? That pe- the, if we want to f- need to find him again. I will have to get back to you on that, actually. I think they're big enough that they might have an organization in town, but I will let you know. Okay. I I just wanted to make sure before we lost them that I got that. uh... All right, and that should conclude for us here. I want to run by uh, Ginger's real quick. Or if you want to conclude the session, I can do it in the roleplay Discord. And and I want to to smirk in his general direction. (laughs) Hey, guys, I got to go buy a healing potion. I'll be right back. I want to get some money out of him. (laughs) How do you want to do it, Clutch? Do you want to end the session and I'll do it over the Yeah, just Discord, when, whenever or? I'll... Uh... Yeah, let's do it that way. Discord? Okay. okay. I'm going to log off for a little bit, but I'll still be on Discord. All right, so yeah, do you, should I end the recording here? Yeah. All right, I'm stopping the recording, so no more.